Wow, it's a hot day here. Today is the 17th. I gotta pull my glasses. Kai trying to make Abaco great again. And today is the 17th day of July. Well, I got plenty of memories about the 17th of July. I will tell you about that later. Right now I'm doing a video. We got about five or six guys from the United States Coast Guard that is here at the Marsh Harbor Port attempting to close this place down. And I'm here to try to thank the Americans for coming here to tell the Bahamas to clean up their act. Uh, the FNM slogan during the election was keep their feet to the fire. And I want to thank the United States government for sending these fellas here to embarrass and to shame our government on how to run a country. The Americans will keep their feet to the fire. And I talked to my MP a while ago, um, Darren Henfield, I said, you know what, before the Americans even did this, I said, you're turning the uh, port over to Troy, but you're turning a nothing port over to him. Spend some money. This port in Abaco brings in 45 to $100 million a year. Neither government, Hubert Ingram was the head, honcho, then Perry came, then another Hubert in here again. Three prime ministers, 45 to $100 million a year. And this part has not had two million, let's say one million. They haven't had $1 million spent on this part in over 15 years. You would say as a businessman, that's why you need private people to run this, this stuff. If a place is bringing in 45 million to 100 million dollars a year, shouldn't you do the upgrade? Shouldn't you spend a million to keep this place pumping and even to put more money into it to generate more than 45 to 100 million? Not 2 million and over 15 years to be a hurricane that blew the roof off, blew the dog, and it's still the way it was. 15 years ago. Now the Americans are saying they're going to shut it down. You know what that means to Abaco if this was shut down? Anybody remember 9-11 when the shelves was empty? Anybody remember when they say it's a hurricane coming? And when a hurricane coming, within that date, there's nothing on the shelves in the grocery store in Abaco. What if they shut it down for a month? Wow. The Americans are keeping this government feet to the fire. You like fire, your feet to the fire. And it's so embarrassing that a foreign company got to tell us that we are nasty, no good, good for nothing, and don't know how to govern. Look at this part, I'm gonna to try to, um, I can't get in there to talk to them Americans, but I wanna to talk to them and I wanna say, on behalf of the Abaco Freedom Fighter, Kai Mills single-handedly is trying to make Abaco great again. It's unacceptable for y'all to come here and to tell us that this part ain't no good because we know it ain't no good. Long time, but it's sad that y'all have to come from America to tell us that this ain't no good and we ain't no good. But I want to thank you, the Americans, for, for keeping the feet to the fire. Look at this part. It's a brand new part. I just want to give you this this the entrance. <laughs> My Jesus. Look at the um that is what the Americans met this morning, the welcoming mat. Look at coming off the door here. This is the entrance of the money making its part in the Caribbean. Look at this right here. The lights. Look right here. All, all, all corroded. Look at the door that they have to go down through. Look here. This is the, this is what the Americans met this morning. This is what they met here. This is a part here. I don't know what that is coming down there, but this is what, this is what the Americans they could see on the outside, 
if your place ain't clean on the outside, we know it's not going to be clean on the inside. So this is what the Americans met here. And if you go on the other side, the bathrooms haven't worked for years. I see now they have the gate locked usually. The other day I came here, I walked right through the gate. Uh, the ex-senator said, God, this is what happens here. But now the Americans are here, they're trying to save face. Look at these pole there. This is a $40 million a year operation. Look at this. You think we can't find pink for that? This is the entrance. You don't want to go inside there. I just came at the bathroom. The bathroom don't smell good, but look here. This is a post in the front of customs. This is what the Americans saw when they came inside there. <laughs> and there's more to come. This is what they saw, and this is what they're seeing inside there. That's gonna be a long, hot meeting. Boy, I wish I could get some tape inside that meeting. But I'm on the outside right now, trying to get in. I'll show you what, you, we, what we got here in Abaco as we enter into the Marshall Port, already congested beyond belief. She call it drive by. Right here we got the legacy in today. And when the legacy in, it is chaotic here. It's trying to give you a bird's eye view. Uh, as Pastor Thinker, say hi to the world. You're on TV. Morning, I'm doing a, I'm doing a video of, of your F and M port. That's one of them diehard F and M. And here you see the uh, door here that has been blown out since the hurricane. This is what you got here on a 45 million dollar a year port. They can't buy a door. One door blown out as we enter into this dojo. And this is what you got here for $45 million a year apart. This is what you got here. Bathroom don't work. Nothing don't work. Only the pigeon enjoy this. This whole place need to be re -rumped. No money has been spent here. Yeah, how, how could they secure the door when the door can't lock? Right there. You can see that's been done there for 15 years. No money in there. The same thing down to custom. This is domestic air area. And this is unacceptable. That is why the Americans are here. That is why Kai is here. That's Donnie Moss here. He's the Donnie say hi. hi. Me and the American Kai and the Americans come to close this place down until y'all do better. And this is what you got here. I'm gonna bring you close to what the Americans are not concerned about this side. I can't get on that side. They don't want my video there. My video is too powerful. But this is the side over here that the Americans are concerned about. That building there is in the same condition. Unsanitary condition. No control. Everybody come and go as they want. And this is the space we got here. Uh, the thing that concerns Kai Mills is that Hubert Ingram that name keep popping up and that will pop up for generations to come whether he do good or bad but he's been around for 15 years, 35 years, too long that is when you have these people believe they are demigod and Hubert Ingram is one of those guys that I have no respect for that think he was a demigod and Hubert went down the road and opened a f not open, built a 40 million dollar port that has been sitting there for rat, roach, and submarines to come in because nothing is above, above the surface. So they might be have submarines coming in at night doing whatever they're doing down there. 40 million. And this place for 15 years, do the math, for 15 years has been bringing in access to 45 to 100 million dollars a year. And the government, the FNM, and the PLP, both of them are shame have not spent two million dollars in 15 years. 45 million a year for 15 years plus. 
neither government, the FNM nor the PLP government has spent two million dollars at the Marshall Report. Now today, we got about six or seven Americans, big fellas, they look like Green Beret. And those Green Beret didn't come here to play. They came here to a hot, heated meeting. Unfortunately, I saw this coming and I talked to the authorities. You saw me out here when the, when, uh, the Prime Minister and Brent Simon brought their boat in here with all the congestion. And we, and I am a boatman. That's what I do all my life. And when you see the legacy and the Duke are going out the Marshall Port at high tide, and you can see clouds of, clouds of dirt coming off the bottom, the place ought to be dredged a long time ago. And we noticed that these captains have come here for a long time. They know how to escape it. But during the beginning, Bahama Falls Ferry keep running aground because the place needs to be dredged. How could you run aground in the channel? Because the channel is too shallow. And here we are today, the 17th day, when the Americans are in a hot meeting and I trying to get in that meeting. The only network said Ness can't touch the story. Ready Abaco, not about the story. All the news channels in the Bahamas, the Tribune, the Guardian, can't touch the story. The only network is here on site with the Americans is WCAY coming to you live from the most disgusting, dirtiest, unregulated part in the country. And the baton is being handed over to Troy. So Troy is getting the heat from the government. Where is our MP, Lil James? We know Darren is flying around. He's up there on them big jet first class. Where the hell is Lil James in this heat? This is directly the biggest money maker in James constituency. What does says him about the closure of this port? And what does this mean, not only for the district of Marshaba, but the whole of Abaco would be affected if the Americans put the stamp of don't come to America approval on this part. You're live, live with big, big breaking news on WCAY.